In this session I'm going to look at uh, cubing two-digit numbers by using the Wedic method um, which is based on the proportionately sutra. And I'll start with a very simple example of how to cube 12. We set down the cube of the first digit. The first digit is 1, so we set down 1 cubed, that's 1. So that is a one cubed. We then take <coughs> we then take the ratio of the two digits, in this case one to two, and starting with this one, produce a geometric sequence with that ratio, which in this case is just doubling. And we write down the next three uh, numbers in the sequence. So we double one to get two, double two to get four, and double that to get eight. And you'll notice here that that eight is the cube of the last digit two. It's two cubed. The next step is to write down double the middle two numbers. So here we write four and here we write eight. And finally we add up all the numbers. Eight, that's twelve, so that's two with one to carry. That makes seven and that makes one. And it's as easy as that. It's very simple. The next example, the ratio is a little bit trickier. The ratio here is 2 to 3, as before, we set down the cube of the first digit, so 2 cubed is 8. And then we take the ratio 2 to 3 and write down the geometric sequence. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to halve the 8 and then multiply by 3, giving 12. Halve that and multiply by 3 to give 18. And finally 27. And here again you'll see that we have the cube of the last digit, 3. We then set down, double this number, and double this number, and then add up for the answer. There's quite a lot of carrying to do here, of course, so we have 7 with 2 to carry. So that's 20, add 36, makes 56, so that's 6 with 5 to carry. Here we have 36, add 5 is 41, so that's 1 with 4 to carry. And finally, 8 add 4 is 12. And the answer is 12,167. And we can have a, a, a decreasing ratio as well, so for the next example, 41 cubed, we start with the cube of 4, 64, and then take the ratio 4 to 1. So we're quartering this to give 16, and then a quarter of 16 is 4, and then 1. And we double the 16 and double the 4, and then simply add up. We have 1, 2 with 1 to carry, this makes 49. And then we have 68. 68921. And uh, where, the, where the digits are, are large, uh, such as in this example, 29 cubed, we've got a 9 here, and that could be awkward because we'd land up with a cube of 9. So there's an easy way around that, which is, which is to use a winky digit, a winky digit. Well, I'll call this 30 winky 1 cubed. And now I'm going to use the ratio 3 to minus 1. So we write down the cube of the first digit, it's 27. Take a third of that, it's winky 9. And then the next will be positive 3. And the next will be winky 1. We can double the winky 9, which is winky 18. And double the 3 to give 6. And now we add up. Winky 1 is 9. Winky 27 is Winky 7 with uh, Winky 2 to carry, and then 27 add minus 2 is 25. And then, of course, we have to dewinculate, um, but we could treat this as a 50 take away 7, it's 43, so it's 2, 4, 3, and 90 take away 1 is 89. That's the answer. Well, how does this work? Well, have a look at the, it's a delightful method, but the important thing really is the mathematics behind it. And it is based on the binomial sequence. Because if we have a two-digit, a two-termed expression, A plus B, and you multiply it out, you cube it, you'll get uh, A cubed plus 3A squared, B plus 3AB squared plus cubed. And we could separate this out into uh, two sums, a cubed plus a squared b plus 
AB squared plus B cubed plus two lots of A squared B plus two lots of AB squared. And you can see here where the doubling uh, comes from. And if you compare that with one of the numerical examples, you'll see uh, what, uh, uh, how it fits. So I'll take another example, uh, 13 cubed. And here the working would be 1, 3, 9, 27. And double these two and then add up to um, give the answer. 3 out 6 out, that's 11. And, and a 2. And here you can see the 6 and the 18 are effectively the 2a squared b and the 2ab squared. And you can also see how the, the, the ratio is in operation in this row here and in this row here. So that's a very delightful way to cube uh, any two-digit numbers.